The dreams of a child, the dreams of a nation. Now we're spread to the winds like the wild geese of history, telling our tales in the cafes and bars, with our silence and cunning enshrouded in mystery. Under the sun and the moon and the stars Here's to the island of saints and of scholars Here's to the biblical beasts of the field Here's to the kingdom of clerical collars Here's to the wounds that may never be healed Joyce, who went into exile in Europe, not being a man to pay pop and jay to an English court, was guilty of the cardinal sin of pride, the sin of the devil. The defiant Joycean stance is still a reproach to any servile attitude towards church, state, or a twisted demonic god. Today, the image in the servant's looking glass is that of a post-colonial pig smirking at its own reflection, aping its betters, mired in its moral excrement, the sow rolling merrily on its young. Instead of rosary beads and respectability, we have the brash, vulgar, ignorant castle Catholics educating their children in private schools, a new pernicious breed of self-interested professionals and the very wealthy whose aspirations do not extend beyond status, the acquisition of wealth and self-advancement. Give us this day, Lord, our villas in Spain, Lord. Give us our castles with breakfast in bed. Send us a case of expensive champagne, Lord. Give us a place, Lord, to lay down our heads from John Buckley McQuaid. All a far cry from the childhood of the late Frank McCourt, who wrote of having to conceal a pig's head under a newspaper, walking home for fear he'd be mocked at Christmas as he couldn't afford a turkey. When the brash Celtic tiger gave way to the crash, in a pub one afternoon I noticed a couple walk in with brown Thomas bags and noticed their instinct to conceal them. People did not approve. Today, the Brown Thomas Brigade no longer care. The sale of luxury goods goes up and up, and the divide between the wealthy and the poor has widened and widened, decimating an already struggling middle class. There's a crowd of ghosts that haunts O'Connell Street and a spire where the pillar used to be. Now the city boasts a mighty tourist fleet, while the Liffey's full of longing for the sea. I'll meet you at Cleary's, there under the clock. We'll drive to Dunleary and go for a walk. The chapel's still standing, the convent is not, along with the school, where me mother once taught. And you can be sure that we'll never forget The culture of vultures and dealers in debt The struggles and troubles, the gold, white and green So much for our beautiful 1916 And here is a place where old memories wait where fates spin their threads by the Leeson Street gate And plants for the blind are all labelled in braille We hadn't a chance, and so how could we fail? Where Beckett and Oscar and Yates had their day And Joyce had to leave to be able to stay Thin Lizzie's filling its back from the Crusades His statue looks at you outside of MacDades and you can be sure that we'll never forget The culture of vultures and dealers in debt The struggles and troubles, the gold, white and green So much for our beautiful 
1916. So, we have replaced our foreign oppressors with our own. Class solidarity and resistance against oppression is necessary around the world today, but the nation itself has an extremely important role to play, and it is surely judged by how it treats its most vulnerable. The young, sure stick them in a hotel bedroom where they can't even learn how to crawl. The sick, let them drop dead on waiting lists. And the old, let them die in nursing homes. As capitalism consumes itself, we witness the consequences globally. Increasingly powerful vested interests hold sway in so-called democracies, polarising the divide, the social fabric disintegrates and the world begins to convulse. We have witnessed Brexit, Trump, civil unrest, our own electoral shifts, the established powers clinging on as the centre weakens, and the left and the right finding themselves curious bedfellows in opposing a crumbling establishment. And all the while in this country we have trotters trotting to the trough. John Buckling Quaid. What would a visitor from the past witness here? If Oisin were to return from the land of his youth? As Oisin returns from the land of his youth, his heart is still young, though he's long in the tooth. For want of a horse, he'll be taken the Lewis. He used to be cool, now he's yesterday's news. And where shall he go on this journey of his? And when will he know what isn't and is? What wouldn't he give for the things that he'll miss? A touch or a glimpse or a prodigal kiss. Maybe he'd notice the cherished children of the nation queuing outside the GPO. Maybe he'd notice the obscenity of the tents in the city and the spectral figures begging for money. He might not even be sure what century he was in. He might notice the undeserving child eating its dinner off the ground outside the GPO. We have the mother and baby homes, the industrial schools, the orphanages, the lunatic asylums, the Ferns Report, the Ryan Report, those girls who lived in hell. They're tearing down the laundries where cruelty prevailed In gardens with forbidden trees whose walls we never scaled Behind those gates they hid the shame that wasn't theirs to hide They took our clothes and changed our names and trampled on our pride Another Mary Magdalene Another stolen child Another broken covenant Another life defiled They said we had no place to go with evil in our as angels fell like flakes of snow From Donnybrook to June They sent our babes across the sea In ships of grief and greed For every babe would only be Another mouth to feed Another Mary Magdalene Another stolen child Another broken covenant Another life defiled And while the Doyle and Diocese Refuse to separate And keep on doing as they please rest of us can't wait to recognize what went before a truth we know so well 
There is a place in heaven for those girls who lived in hell. Another Mary Magdalene, another stolen child, another broken covenant, another life defiled. Then we have the cross thumping about it all, the endless hypocrisy, the meaningless lamentations. What of the babies they left on our doorsteps? What of the innocent girls that they shamed? What of the idols they fearfully worshipped? What of the bones that they buried unnamed? What of the tears they pretend not to notice? What of the orphanage blood in our veins? What of the postcards that nobody posted, telling us where we could find the remains? We have our homeless hotels. Children, Children living, living on, on the, the street, street leave, leave these premises, premises by, by ten. ten. Every, Every day is a new defeat. defeat. Seven, Seven, they'll, they'll be, be back, back again. again. To scrounge for a crust and curse, curse the hyenas, hyenas betraying, betraying our trust. <laughs> you a tale of the homeless hotels those chosen to serve have us under their spells we live on the streets and we scrounge for a crust and curse the hyenas betraying our trust they say that there isn't we know that there is we're hungry and fearful and god help the kids they're lost and they're lonely and strung out on drugs They turn into monsters that nobody hugs Ireland, 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 Ireland Some get cake and some get crumb Ireland, 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 Ireland What on earth? clergy abused and denied for ages the blameless that they crucified they buried them namelessly under the sod and offered novenas in praise of their god they're burning down churches on faraway land we may not agree but we do understand we're drinking and thinking and feeling the shame We don't have the strength to be doing the same Today, we live in an open air Magdalen laundry, again sanctioned by the state, and there are no high walls, where the vulnerable are shoved into single rooms and hotels, battened on by private interests. If they're in the way, they can be shoveled into a machine to clear them off the streets. Indeed, in the land of polished halos, nothing ever changes. There's a crowd of ghosts that haunts O'Connell Street and a spire where the pillar used to be. Now the city boasts a mighty tourist fleet while the Liffey is full of longing for the sea. Nothing ever changes. Nothing ever changes. Nothing ever changes in the land of polished halos. Comfort's a terribly cruel addiction. Comfort may never be curbed. 
Comfort is closing its eyes to affliction. Comfort just won't be disturbed. The part of a pitchfork might cure it. There is a distant sound of drumming from the prisons of the poor. Soon the pitchforks will be coming to administer the cure. We should hang ourselves in private. The greater common good. They dared us to survive it and to write it down in blood. The depressed souls in our world serve a useful function. The first to be picked off in a dysfunctional, valueless world. An unheeded warning to the stampeding herd hurtling over a cliff. The children of the Celtic rodents may bang away on their pianos but the sins of the father will be visited on them. Dreams may be real for the freaks and the fools. Finding employments like winning the pools. That's why we sent him to all the right schools. Freedom is freedom to follow our rules. And what of this boy? I'm looking for a child. I'm looking for a child, a heart of gold, stars in his eyes, a long way to go. The dreams of a child, the dreams of a nation. nation.